Good morning children. How are you all? I think you all enjoyed the weekends. How was the rain? It is raining cats and dogs, right? So, take care of your health. Huh? Be strong always. Now, let me ask uh, something. What about our homework? So, I think you all have uh, completed the homework which I have given in the last class. Do you remember what was our homework? Yes, I know you all are good children. Okay, uh, see, do you remember uh, a work, a task which I have given in the first class? To circle the subject and underline the predicate. Actually, uh, I have done, uh, unfortunately, I have done mistake in that question. In that uh, question number 11, actually the question was like this. Who broke the glass? Who broke the glass? And the answer is glass is the subject and who brought is the predicate. Clear? So you can circle the subject glass and underline the predicate. Clear? I'm so sorry. Actually, it was a typing error. Anyway, I'm so sorry for making you confused. Okay? Now, let's move to the answers uh, for the homework which I have uh, given in the last class. Okay? Are you ready? So, all of you take your textbook and don't forget to take a pencil. Are you ready? Okay, now let's go. Here, we have to match the subjects with the suitable predicates. Okay? So here, I'll read the answers for you. All of you listen carefully. Okay? First one, bats. Bats. And the answer is E. Look for food at night. Bats look for food at night. I have already given the uh, answer once. Uh, anyway, here I am repeating it. No problem. Bats look for food at night. Okay? Understood? Now, question number 2. Rohit. Rohit teaches us English. Rohit teaches us English. Understood? Okay. Now, question number three. I. I pray to God every day. I pray to God every day. J. Pray to God every day. Now, fourth one. Lunch. Lunch. And the answer is I. Lunch is the second meal of the day. It is understood, no? Yes. Lunch is the second meal of the day. Now, question number five. We. And the answer is G. We exercise every day. We exercise every day. Clear? Now question number 6. Mr. Gupta. Mr. Gupta. Answer is D. Does not make a mistake in his work. Mr. Gupta does not make a mistake in his work. Leo? Okay. Now, question number seven. Ramdeen. The answer is C. Ramdeen drinks milk twice a day. Ramdeen drinks milk twice a day. Now, 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अगेन वी द फिफ्थ वन वॉज ऑल्सो वी एंड एथ वन इज ऑल्सो द सब्जेक्ट इज वी एंड द आंसर इज ए वर्क इन एन ऑफिस वी वर्क इन एन ऑफिस अंडरस्ट Now the ninth one, Sachin Tendulkar. Oh ho! I hope you all know the answer. Sachin Tendulkar. Yes, very good. Is a great batsman. Sachin Tendulkar. Tendulkar is a great batsman. Okay, very good. Now we can move to the last one. That is, she. The tenth one is she, and the answer is B. Talks loudly. She talks loudly. Clear. So I hope you all understood the answers well. If the answers uh, answer is right, you can take the answer using a pencil, and if it is wrong, please rewrite the answer. Okay? If the answer is right, you please take the answer with a pencil, and if it is wrong, please rewrite the answer. Now let's move to exercise number C. Open your textbook at page number five. Now let me read the question. Exercise number C. In the sentences given below, underline the subjects and circle the predicates. And the first question: A ferocious lion lived in a jungle. A ferocious lion lived in a jungle. and in this question a ferocious lion is the subject and lived in a jungle is the predicate here you can circle a ferocious lion and underline sorry you can uh, underline a ferocious lion and circle live in a jungle okay Now question number two. He ate any animal he wanted. Definitely, he is the subject, and ate any animal he wanted is the predicate. Here, you can underline he and circle ate any animal he wanted. Okay. Now three. One day. All the animals got together. All the animals got together. In this sentence, all the animals is the subject. All the animals is the subject, and the remaining is the predicates. Now, question number four. All the animals were scared of the lion. All the animals is the subject, and were scared of the lion is the predicate. Now, question number five. The rabbit said that we will send one animal to the lion every day. Here, the rabbit is the subject, and the remaining is the predicate. Question number six. The other animals agreed with the plan, and in this question, the other animals is the subject. So you can underline the other animals, and you can circle the remaining portion. Now, question number seven: The lion was happy to hear their idea. The lion is the subject. and was happy to hear the their idea is the predicate now eighth one 
he thought that the animals were foolish so here definitely he is the subject and the remaining is the predicate so do like that now ninth one the rabbit played a trick on the lion the rabbit played a trick on the lion the rabbit is the subject and played a trick on the lion is the predicate now tenth one he took the lion to the well he took the lion to the well he is the subject and the remaining is the predicate now eleventh one the lion looked into the well and saw his reflection the lion is the subject and looked into the well and saw his reflection is the predicate now twelfth one i mean the last one he jumped into the well and was drowned here definitely we all know that he is the subject and jumped into the well and was drowned is the predicate so you can underline the subject he and uh, you can circle the remaining part so that is the predicate no that's why so all of you don't make any mistake and uh, do accordingly so now i know you all are waiting for today's homework right yes now let me read the question for you question number d look at the pictures and add subjects or predicates to complete these sentences so you can see some pictures there and look at the pictures carefully okay and in some sentence subjects are given and in some other questions predicates are given so you want to do is that if the subject is provided you can add one suitable predicate there if the predicate is given there you please add the subject there so that is the question it is so simple look at the pictures carefully then definitely you will get the answers okay look at the pictures and complete the sentences okay okay children so it was the last exercise in this chapter i hope you all understood the chapter well right okay and do this exercise uh, for the coming class and uh, soon we will conduct one test paper on both chapters i mean uh, chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 okay uh, i will uh, inform you the date and details so be prepared for that okay so till then take care children be happy and bye bye